Have you ever wondered how to start your own YouTube channel? Hello there Pixies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be made especially for the people who have asked me personally how to start a Harry Potter themed YouTube channel. Now, I know that there's several ways to start a YouTube channel and I've read and watched a lot of tips myself, so I thought that even though I don't think I'm nearly as qualified as some other people to say anything on this topic, I feel that I know enough to give some valid advice. So without further ado, I'm going to give you five tips to start a Harry Potter YouTube channel, but make sure to stick around to the end because there's actually a sixth bonus tip. Number one, watch a few YouTubers that you admire whether they be Harry Potter or not, but preferably Harry Potter YouTubers, and see what things you like best about them. Maybe it's the way their channel banner looks, or maybe it's what type of videos they make. Preferably, you should check out what their most popular videos are. Watch them through, and find three things that you liked about those particular videos. Maybe you could take inspiration from those videos and use them to do your own version but don't copy, just take inspiration. You want to make sure you know what it is that you like about their videos. For example, I noticed that a lot of my favourite Harry Potter YouTubers have a little name for the people that watch their videos. For example, Tessa Netting calls her followers and subscribers Starfish. And people who watch The Bakey are commonly referred to as people in The Bakey House. I took a bit of inspiration from them and uh, that's where the whole pixie army comes from. Number two, pick three things that you love most about Harry Potter and see how many video ideas you can come up with just using those three things. For example, perhaps you love the Harry Potter merchandise and you feel like you could make a lot of videos around all the merchandise that you own. Or maybe there's a specific character that you really love in Harry Potter and you feel you could do them justice by making lots of videos about who they are as a person or their character journey. The more specific you are about these things, the better. Number three, try to talk to as many Harry Potter fans in real life and online as you possibly can. Join Harry Potter themed communities, maybe on Twitter or Harry Potter Amino. The point is that you never know how many video ideas come from just talking to other fans and sharing your knowledge and love with them. And besides that, you never know which of these people might actually enjoy your videos and become a subscriber one day. Number four, make sure that before you do anything with a channel, you have at least 50 video ideas already written down. The reason I say this is not to make you daunted, it's actually to stop you from being daunted once you start. Because the more ideas you already have, the less you have to think and brainstorm, and it means that you're less likely to get discouraged because you already know what track you're headed on. Number five, practice filming, editing, and uploading your videos before you even really start your channel and get it going and promoting it because chances are you won't be very good at first and you need the practice to get comfortable with the camera, learn how to edit and practicing. All these things take time and if you do a lot of it before you really start, it means when you do properly start, it'll look like you've been doing this for years and you're more likely to get noticed quicker. Putting yourself out there and talking to a camera is hard enough without the added pressure of trying to be perfect first time. And the sixth bonus tip is to remember that your first 10 to 20, maybe even your first 100 videos if you get that far, are not going to be very good. I can testify to this because I feel like I'm learning all the time and even though I've made about 65 maybe videos, I don't know how many I've made, I'm still not very good and I'm always learning. So just remember that it's fine to not be great the first time. The funny thing is, people like to see how people have improved over the years. I suggest going to your favourite Harry Potter YouTuber's YouTube channel and checking out their oldest videos first and it will probably give you a lot of comfort to know that they weren't very good either at the start. Tell me, which tip was your favourite? And if you do start doing this and actually start your channel, let me know 
which ones did you actually take advice from and which ones actually helped you I would love to know and also if you make your channel please drop it below because I really like to see other Harry Potter youtubers and just youtubers in general starting their journey so let me know how it goes I want to support you guys and I think we should all support each other on this because there are people who want to start and just need a little bit of a push if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and you liked this because I make a lot more Harry Potter themed videos and uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye and good luck.